Hi everybody, welcome to the Java Script course. In this video, I'm going to discuss three types of coordinates that can be measured by Java Script. First, I'd like to show you the screen coordinates, and they are measured from the top left corner of the computer screen. And the second coordinate is called window coordinates. They are measured from the top left corner of the browser window. The third type of coordinates is called document coordinates. They are measured from the top left corner of the HTML document. Finally, I would like to show you two functions called getBoundingClientRect and element from point XY to help us obtain the coordinates of a given element. Now, let us see the HTML file first. The HTML file has a number of things. I have a title here, and then in the body, I have a number of elements. I have a heading here with an ID called head1, and I have a paragraph here with the ID called screen coordinates, and then I have a long paragraph, okay, and for that paragraph, I have an event handler called print screen coordinates that I will uh, show you how to do it later on, and this is an event that will happen when I click on that paragraph, okay, and I have another paragraph here with ID called window coordinates, and I'm going to show you something here. And I have another paragraph, and for that paragraph, I have another event handle function called print window coordinates. And for here, I have another paragraph that will be able to put something on the web page. And the ID is called document coordinates. And after that, I have a paragraph. I have a function to handle the event when I click on that paragraph. And of course, I have to link my uh, JavaScript file to the HTML file. The JavaScript file is called myscript.js, which is put in the JS folder. Okay. So you can see the hierarchy of the files here. And let us go to the JavaScript file. In order for me to use the strict mode, I have to say use strict on the first line of the JavaScript file. And now let us go to the major topic for today. Basically, we can uh, show the three types of coordinates on this PDF file. Okay, so suppose I want to locate this red dot. So we have three ways to do so according to the origin of your coordinate system. So if you want to show the screen coordinates, you can see that screen X and screen Y can help us get the X and Y coordinates relative to the screen. Okay, so for the screen coordinate system, the origin is on the top left-hand corner of the screen. Okay, so if we want to talk about the window coordinates, we can measure the coordinates from the top left-hand corner of your browser. Okay, so of course the browser has some buttons on top, and we just talk about the fill point. So the origin of the window coordinates would be the top left hand corner of, of the fill port. Okay. So you can see client X refers to the uh, X coordinate relative to the window and client Y refers to the Y coordinate relative to the window. Okay. So you can see that client X refers to the X coordinate of the uh, dot relative to the window. And client Y refers to the vertical distance relative to the uh, browser window. Okay. And when we talk about the document, which is in the uh, dashed line boundary, page X refers to the coordinate measured from the top left hand corner of the document, which is this point. Okay. Page X refers to the horizontal coordinate and page Y refers to the vertical coordinate from the document. Okay. So let us go to the JavaScript file again. Screen X and screen Y can show the coordinates relative to the screen during a mouse event. That's why I have to put an event here. So these three coordinates can be obtained when we have some mouse event. That's why I have to put the event object into the event handler functions. Okay. So let me create a function. So I'm able to show the screen X and the screen Y coordinates by picking them up from the event object. And then I can use the inHTML uh, property to assign those 
um, values into the HTML file. So let us see the result. Save. Reload. And I click on the paragraph. I'm able to see the uh, position that I clicked. So when I click on this paragraph at a different position, you can see that the screen X and screen Y will change accordingly. Since I use the screen coordinates, these two values would refer to my uh, top left hand corner of the screen. Okay. Since the resolution of my screen is 1080 pixels for the vertical side, you can see that horizontal one is at most something near 1,900. And for my screen Y value here, it would be just 40% of my whole vertical dimension. Okay. You can see 400 and something when I click on that place. Okay. So I can show the screen X and screen Y by using the screen X and screen Y properties from my event object. Okay. And the next topic to talk about is the client X and client Y. They can show the coordinates relative to the browser window during a mouse event. So let me try to do a similar function to show the client X and client Y coordinates. Okay, I refer to this paragraph that I will show the content later on. And this is the uh, event handler function that I created shortly. So I can try to print the window coordinates that are referring to the top left hand corner of the fill point. Save. Reload. When I click on the second paragraph, I'm able to show the client X and client Y respectively. So they are measured from the top left hand corner of the uh, browser window, which is this point. Okay. You can see the change when I click on different portion of the paragraph. So when I change the fill port size, their values will change accordingly. You see? The client X value can be over 1000 for now. And when I go to the far right, I can get the value very close to 1900. Okay. And for client Y, when I change the uh, vertical size of my browser window, I can also change the client Y value very significantly. Okay. So that's the meaning of the window coordinates. We count the coordinates from the top left hand corner of the fill port window. Okay. The third thing to talk about is the page X and page Y coordinates. They can show the coordinates relative to document during a mouse event. So let me try to create such an event handler function. Okay, I can just do another event handler function referring to this paragraph. Okay, so when I load the page, I'm able to show one more line here. And I just use page X and page Y to indicate the document coordinates relative to the whole document. Save, reload, and when I click on the third paragraph, I'm able to see those two values. So you can see that the X coordinate of the document is this quantity 263 when I click on that place. And you can see that the Y coordinate of the document is already 936. So when I scroll further to the bottom, when, when, when I click on another place, you can see that the Y coordinate for the document can be beyond 1080. That means it is already beyond my screen resolution. Okay, so this is the uh, value obtained from the top left hand corner of the document. So the document is of this thing long. Okay, so that's why we can be sure that we are able to get all these three types of coordinates the screen coordinates, the window coordinates, and the document coordinates. Okay. And then I'm going to another topic. 
I can use the getBounding client rect function to help me return object with the key value pairs about the coordinates of the smallest rectangle surrounding the element. And the rectangle is built from the top left hand corner. What does it mean by that? We can get a certain rectangle that can give me a lot of information about the coordinates of that object. So let us see an example. So now I'm going to pick up this uh, H1 element, okay? So I have picked up this heading, and then I can use the get bounding client rect function to get a certain rectangle. So this rectangle is able to contain a lot of information about that rectangle uh, surrounding this H1 element. So I can get the coordinates of that H1 element on the web page. And then I can get the window coordinates of the rectangle origin relative to the fill part. How can I do so? I can do something like this. I can use rectangle.x and rectangle.y to get the window coordinates. Let us see. Save. Reload. Yes, you can see 8 as the x coordinate. And you can see 21 point something as the y coordinate. So you can see that the heading here is moved from 8 pixels to the fill port, and it has moved downwards by 21 point something pixels from the top of the fill port. Okay, so X and Y refer to the window coordinates. I can also get the rectangle size. That means I can get the size of this heading element. I can use rectangle.width and the rectangle.height. Save. Reload. Yes, you can see the width is 499 to get the rectangle. And the height is 37. Okay, so they are all in pixel units. So the width here refers to the whole width that you can observe from the fill port. So when I change the fill port size, I can have another width. So you can see that the width becomes 1904. And the height is still 37 pixels because the height is still the same. I just changed the width of the whole heading, okay? And then I'm able to get the rectangle top and bottom coordinates relative to the fill point. Let us see how I can do it. I use rectangle dot top and rectangle bottom. So after I've got the rectangle, uh, by calling the get bounding client rect function, I'm able to get the top and the bottom. So let us see the result. Save. Reload. Yes, you can see 21 point something as the top coordinate of the heading relative to the fill port. And for the bottom, it is equal to 58 point something. So you can see that the top is 21 point something. And the bottom is 59 point something. So the bottom refers to the bottom part of the heading text, okay, about this position, okay. This position has a coordinate of 59 point something, okay. So when I move the heading a little bit, the value will be different, like this one. When I completely hide the heading, the top and the bottom will be different because the measurement will be relative to the fill point. Yes, you can see minus 67 for the top. And for the bottom, it would be minus 30. So it means that the heading is already on top of the uh, origin of the coordinate system. So you can see that the top is further away from the coordinate origin. That means um, it will have a more negative value than the bottom. That is natural, okay? And then I'm able to get the rectangle left and the right coordinates relative to the fill point. Of course, when the uh, web page is scrolled down or scrolled to the right a, a little bit more, the value of the rectangle left and right coordinates will be changed. Okay, let us see the result. Save. Reload. Yes, you can see 8 because the rectangle 
is just the heading and the heading has an offset of 8 pixels and for the right the, the, the coordinate will be 507 because it is just depending on my fill pot width okay when my fill pot is that large the left coordinate will be the same but the right coordinate will be changed a little bit more because I'm able to obtain the whole width of my browser window according to my screen resolution okay finally I'm going to tell you another function called element from point xy so this function can return the topmost element at the window coordinates given by x y relative to the fill point okay what does it mean by that? Let us see an example. I want to find something relative to a point. Suppose I want to find out this element, which is the topmost element of the element at this particular coordinates. Okay, 50 and 700. It may refer to the second paragraph. So 50 and 700. Are measured relative to the fill point so 50 and 700 will be some somewhere around this position so i want to find out the element around this position which is the topmost element at this given window coordinates okay i want to set the style of that paragraph to have a color in red so let us see the result the result will be like that. I'm able to get all the uh, content here to turn to red. Save. Reload. Yes, you can see that I'm able to get this portion to become red. Because the given coordinates here are just referring to this particular place, uh, indicated by my cursor position right now. So I'm able to pick up the element uh, corresponding to this position and then I can uh, change the appearance of that element okay so element from point function can help us get a certain element according to the fill port coordinates okay so this video has already talked about so many things about the coordinate systems we have the screen coordinates the window coordinates and the document coordinates they can refer to the same physical point with different values according to the different origins assigned to each of those coordinate systems. And we can get the information about an element by bounding it with a rectangle. And the way is to use the get bounding client rect function. And after that, I can get the window coordinates of that element the rectangle size, the top and bottom coordinates relative to the fill port, and I can also get the left and right coordinates relative to the fill port. Finally, I can show you that I can locate an element by using the element from point xy function that helps me locate an element according to the fill port coordinates. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, Please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.